Okay, so th this time, uh, this time uh, we shall be checking whether standardized residual, right, is it normally distributed or not. And we have already seen that studentized residual is normally distributed from the graphical approach and from the mathematical approach we have already seen that studentized residual is normally distributed okay now i shall be checking standardized residual that whether this residual is normally distributed or not and we have already saved it last time from the estimated model we have already saved it now we shall check whether it is normally distributed or not okay go to analyze as before then I go to descriptive statistics then I go to explore right then I click on it so so last time actually we we already checked I take it out then I take standard residual this time, right? I take it and put it here. Then I check statistics. Statistics. Okay, so, so this one uh, I choose, right? Continue. Then plot. I choose uh, this one, <laughs> histogram. And I choose normality plots with test, right? That uh, I choose. This and this I select continue then option okay I choose number one continue then I press ok so the result is coming up gradually just one minute result is coming up okay it's coming up processing the data yes Okay, the result has come up. Okay, the result has come from here, right? From here, result has come. Okay, and test of normality has come. And standardized residual has come, right? Okay, so first I check one by one. So this one is the test of normality. I make it big so that you can see better. I make it, I uh, make it, uh, how much? I mean 16 cell properties. I make it 16 right you can see better okay. so this is the outcome and what I do here uh, here uh, here uh, I write something so that uh, you can understand better I put it this one okay. I write something okay here I write one minute where I have gone just one minute uh, what is my result just one minute Not this one. Okay, not this one. My result is uh, up at the bell, I guess. My result, I have lost it. Okay. Yes, the result is still coming up. The result is here. Yes, this one is the result. This one is the result uh, that we are looking for. And standard residual is here. So here I write something so that uh, I just don't write something. What is going up? Mm, I write something is going up to where? Oh, sorry, I think I have, I have chosen the wrong. Uh, yeah, I take. Uh, sorry, I have, I, my result is this one. I've done a mistake. My result is this one. I think I have to click this one to write something. Yes, it has come up. Okay, so it is the result of the standard residual, right? And here, uh, 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 here is the, there are two approach, as I told. One is mathematical approach, and the second approach is graphical approach, right? To come to a decision whether a variable is 
normally distributed or not okay so first i check mathematical approach and uh, and we always accept the mathematical approach result all the time not graphical approach result because the the uh, the second one graphical approach cannot make it conform but mathematical approach can make it conform okay so it is the result so there are two tests one is uh, kolmogorov and the shapiro and this one is the standard residual right and it is the statistics and corresponding as significant value or i can call it p value right meaning that probability value it is here and what is our null hypothesis null is residuals residual variable that we have residuals are normally distributed so that is our null and what is alternative hypothesis residuals are not normally distributed right so there are two hypotheses okay here the thing is that uh, here the significant value or the p value is 20% meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that residuals are normally distributed and that is always desirable for a estimated regression model okay then second approach shapiro shapiro model the significant level is 66% which is more than 5% so we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that residuals are normally distributed so now we are sure we are sure that our residuals are normally distributed so because we have done the mathematical approach right we are confirm we are confirm about it but still we can check the graphical approach right whether our residual variable is normally distributed or not here our residual actually a variable right residual actually a a variable okay so 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 first i check graphical approach so the first one is this one graphical approach so it is the histogram right that is graphical approach first graphical approach and you can see here standard residual standard residual has been plotted here has been distributed here plotted here and you can see this distribution actually looks like a normal distributions right something like normal so we can say that our residual is normally distributed okay then we talk about a second graphical approach right so i make it small it has become so big so i make it small so that you can see it properly i make it small okay it has come down okay he, it, the second graphical approach is the normal qq plot of standard residual right so this one is the line straight line and when this circle there are many circle when this circle fall on this line then we can say our residual is normally distributed 
and here you can see the circles are very close to this line meaning that we can say that our residuals are normally distributed okay then we check the third graphical approach uh, it is so big I make it small so that uh, so that okay, make it small okay, it has become small now okay so this one is the line straight line right straight line and it is standard residual so the guideline is when this circle you can see circle when this circle are close to this line then we can say that residuals are normally distributed and here we can see most of the circle right most of the circle are close to this line meaning that our residuals are normally distributed okay the number the number four graphical approach I make it small that is called box plot it is here I make it small okay it has become small now it is standard residual and we call it box plot okay, okay and this line we call it median we call it median and when this median goes to close to top when this median close to top meaning that the variable is negatively skewed but when this median is close to bottom then we say the variable is positively skewed but when this median is in the center of this line then we say that variable is normally distributed so that is the guideline and here we can see that this median is almost in the center in the center of the box meaning that our residual variable is normally distributed so we are happy about our model so what is our decision our decision is uh, that from the mathematical approach residuals are normally distributed and from the graphical approach residuals are also normally distributed so we are happy about the model so what is our decision that the decision is we have checked two types of decision one is standard standard residual and we have checked studentized residual both are telling that residuals are normally distributed so we are we are happy about the model